Hi, I'm Carl Taylor from Visual Education and in this series of studio lighting modifiers today we're talking about the humble white translucent shine through or diffused through umbrella. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Use coupon code CARL to get a 10% discount. Now this particular modifier is about the most basic most inexpensive diffusion modifier available on the market. In fact, the white shoot through umbrella is often as cheap as $10 for some of the independent brands. This one is 105 centimeter diameter, which is about 33 inches. You can get these in larger sizes as well. Uh, they're all much of a muchness. I mean, everyone knows what an umbrella does and how an umbrella works. And the concept and physical properties of this are relatively straightforward. You have a material that is similar to a softbox diffusion material, but you only have one layer and you shine your light through that layer and you have this side facing your model or your subject so that you create a larger, softer light source from your modifier. However, there are some drawbacks with this particular modifier compared to softboxes. Obviously the price is an advantage and I'm going to show you some comparison results of what this is like compared to a softbox. But there are disadvantages. Let's run through how uh, we would use that. So here we have a standard studio light, bare bulb. We've already covered bare bulb and standard reflectors in one of our earlier videos, if you wanna check that out. Here, standard bare bulb studio light. That's the modeling light, of course. When you take the picture, then the flash tube inside would fire. Now you can use a white shoot through umbrella by placing it directly onto the light and using it in a bare bulb fashion. So the light will go through, and then as you can see, when we look at it this way round, you see that light coming through the umbrella. However, that is not really an efficient way of working with a shoot through umbrella. And the reason is that obviously a lot of light is escaping from your bare bulb out sideways and bouncing around your studio, which will obviously reduce the density of the shadows in your shot but you lose a lot of light energy. So unless you've got a very specific reason for wanting light to bounce around your studio, that's not how we would recommend using it. Generally speaking, you have reflectors. Now this is a standard reflector that we showed you in a previous video and what they do. And you can see in some of these standard reflectors, a little hole through there. And that's so that you can pass the umbrella stem or rod through that hole. However, again, standard reflectors are not always the best reflector for white umbrellas. And the reason is that the standard reflector tends to narrow the beam to about 70 degrees. And that isn't always an ideal beam for the spread you want for a white umbrella, especially if it's a larger umbrella than the 33 inch or the 105 centimeter. Normally with white umbrellas or any sort of umbrellas, you go with a wide reflector. So they're shorter, stubbier reflectors and they have a wider angle spread of light. So it stops that light bouncing out sideways, but directs it forwards, but not so tightly forwards that you, um, you lose a lot of the spread of the light. So I'm just going to pop this one on here. So now we have a wide reflector giving us a wide beam, but now we have no light escaping out the sides, as you can see from my hands. And now when I pop the umbrella on, we'll see that most of that light energy is funneled forwards. Now here's the trick. Here's the real important part about using white shoot through umbrellas or any umbrella for that matter. You can see here, we're starting to get a little bit of darkening on the edges. And if I pull that in more, you see how, you can see now that light is stopping round about here and now it's in the darker area here. There's less light reaching there because of the cutoff angle of the wide angle reflector. Now with the standard reflector, that cutoff angle will happen even sooner because it makes a more concentrated ball. And this is why you wanna really use the wide reflector. So the trick is you've gotta push your umbrella distance out to make sure that the entire umbrella is 
within the beam of light so that you maximize that light energy going through the umbrella, but minimize the light going out sideways via the uh, wide angle reflector. So now when we look at the umbrella, we should have a little bit more uh, punch of light coming through it, a little bit more exposure that will come through that light because of the reflector. So let's talk about how we use these. Well, generally speaking, we use the white reflector like this, uh, sorry, white uh, umbrella, shoot through umbrella alongside your model, usually up from the front above your model, coming down much the same as a beauty dish position, gives you a fairly nice round catch light in the eyes. But the disadvantage, and this is often the question I get is, well, why doesn't everyone go for this sort of $10, $20 umbrella um, instead of a softbox? And there's the big question. The, the reason that white shoot through umbrellas are not really that great in a studio environment is because a lot of the light energy bounces back from the umbrella on this white side and bounces back out of it and then around your studio off of your white walls or off of your ceiling. And you basically have less light control than you have with a softbox. Because a softbox with an equal area size uh, as the surface area of that umbrella, the rest of it is enclosed. And it's enclosed with a silver material, an extra layer of diffusion, and then that light energy more of it is sent forwards, you get more light energy out the other side and you get less light energy bouncing out or you get no light energy bouncing out the back on a softbox around your studio. So it's a much more efficient uh, modifier. And of course, it's got two layers of diffusion, which means it diffuses the light even more. So it's more homogenous at the front. So from the terms of using one of these, the bigger the white umbrella, the softer the light will be but the spread of the light is not as homogenous as a softbox because it's lacking that internal layer of diffusion. And the biggest problem is light bouncing out the back of it, scattering light around your studio, which makes it harder to control the light in your shadows. So that's really uh, the key reasons uh, why white umbrellas are so cheap by comparison to softboxes. However, they can still be used and can still give you some relatively decent results. Let's take a look here uh, on our comparison lighting app tool on um, visualeducation.com. So we can see here on the left where I've just got the bare bulb studio light comparison. I can change that to a P70 reflector, reflector with diffusion. I can choose all these other modifiers to compare to. Uh, but if we just start with bare bulb, and you can see here on the right, I'm already on small white umbrella and you can see the effect that that is having on the light and the look of the light in the eye compared to bare bulb. But if we change our modifier over to say a more standard 150 Octobox, which is a more beautiful lighting, you can see the different look. You can see the reduction in contrast here in the shadows on the nose and the eyes because of all that extra light bouncing around the studio. Um, so there are drawbacks with using the white umbrella in terms of that contrast. Of course, on our uh, modifier app here, we also have the comparisons for full length body shots. So the one on the left here is the Octobox 150 and the one on the right is a white umbrella and a white shoot through umbrella. Let's just put that with the reflector. And you can see it's quite a nice flattering light, but, but you can see it's also much lower contrast because there's a huge amount of light bouncing around the studio coming out the back of that umbrella that you don't get with something like the Octobox 150, uh, which we have covered in a previous video if you'd like to uh, see that on our channel as well. So really it's about lighting control. I'm not saying that you can't do great shots with a white shoot through umbrella, but um, it's limited in its ability of light control. However, if you understand its drawbacks uh, and its uh, positive attributes, then you can use it to your advantage. But that's the key thing, is understanding the physics of light and understanding how to use that light to your advantage. And of course, that's what we cover over on our platform. 
Now, while we're on the subject of the white shoot-through umbrella, it's not to be confused with a white bounce-back umbrella. This umbrella is the same size and it is white, but it is not a shoot-through. This one is a bounce-back only, so you fire the light into it and then you put your mod model or subject on this side. That will be the topic of another future video of ours, but while we're here right now, of course you might say, ah, well that sounds interesting. That stops light bouncing around the studio because it's black on this side. Uh, so surely this gives me an option compared to a softbox. Well, it gets closer to the softbox, yes, but obviously now the, 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 the modifier is further away from your subject because your lamp head is placed here and it's got some blockage from the lamp head. There's still light bouncing around the studio. So it's still not as efficient as a softbox, but as I say, we'll be covering that in another video. So there isn't really a great deal more to explain about white shoot through umbrellas. The only other thing you need to look at or consider from build quality, of course, is just, you know, does the umbrella open and collapse correctly? And finally, the material. You do get different types of materials that these things are made for. Now, some of our premium brand umbrellas, like the Broncolor, which may be as much as $70 for the umbrella, you know or you guarantee you're gonna get with a Broncolor, an Elinchrom, or a Profoto, you know you're gonna get, you know, as neutral, high quality diffusion material as possible. On the cheap ones, you might end up with a material that's a little bit blue or a little bit warm, giving you a bit of a color cast on your results. But you know, for $10, who cares? Give it a try and see what you think. So a great little modifier if you're starting out in photography with studio lighting and you want to experiment. Next step up would be the bounce back modifier umbrella instead. And we'll be covering many other modifiers in this series of videos. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Carl to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.